we're going to write out the first four terms of the Maclaurin series for some function given all of this information about this function. So let me just remind you what the Taylor series looks like first. Now this is a general Taylor series, and this expansion is centered at an x value, x equals a. If we want a Maclaurin series, that just means that we're going to use a equals zero for this Taylor series. So let me write out a few terms of that. Okay, so there's the formula for our Maclaurin series. And really all we're doing with this problem is taking every function value that we're given and plugging it into the formula for this Maclaurin series. So this problem is actually going to go really quickly. We're just going to replace f of 0 with 4. We're going to replace f prime of 0 with negative 12. We're going to replace f double prime of 0 with negative 9. And we're going to replace f triple prime of 0 with negative 8. Then all we need to do to finish this problem up is simplify. For this last term, we have an 8 in the numerator and a 6 in the denominator. 8 sixths can be reduced to 4 thirds. So there it is. If we just want the first four terms of this series, we can just do a little approximately equal sign over here and box that thing up. And though we weren't given what this actual function was, we have approximated that function using all of these function and derivative values evaluated at x equals 0 that were given. And this is our result. So OK, I hope that that helps you get started with Maclaurin series. We're going to do a lot more Taylor series and Maclaurin series problems in the coming videos. So I will see you there.